Now you've probably heard like in the news or on social media, those people announcing that they won a million dollars in scholarships, two million, five million, whatever it may be. And you're just like, what the heck? How is this even possible? Well, I'm going to share with you all exactly how they did it. Hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel, ESP Daniela, of where I talk about everything related to education, money, professional development, anything like that. So as you already know from the title of this video, I will be sharing how to win a million dollars or more in scholarships. Now for context, for those who don't already know about my background, my name is Carlin Green and I am a scholarship expert and over the years I have helped students win millions and millions of dollars in scholarships and graduate debt free. So with that being said, I know what it takes to not only find these scholarships that you're more likely to win, but also to actually win them at the end of the day because they are very, very competitive. Now, first I want to go ahead and get this misconception out the way. So a lot of times people think that you can only win scholarships if you have a very high GPA, very high test scores, and you are super involved in your school and several leadership roles. And of course those things do help, but many scholarships do not even require those things. There are several scholarships, some of which I give out by the way that don't require a gpa that don't require test scores or anything like that so just know if you are someone who is in either of those boats whether you excel academically or not so much it is still possible to win scholarships now that that has been covered i can officially start this video so what exactly do these students do that win over a million dollars in scholarships for one they are applying super super early and they're more than likely not just applying during their senior year year of high school. If you didn't already know, you can win scholarships no matter your grade. There are scholarships even for like kindergartners, middle school, etc. So it is very beneficial to you in the long run if you get early exposure to how to go about the overall scholarship process because then you can learn the do's and the don'ts and what works and what doesn't work for your application. And then by the time that you are applying for scholarships during your senior year, because most scholarships are restricted only to high school seniors, you're going to be way more likely to win because you already know what you're getting yourself into. Now tying back into applying early, many scholarships that give out like $10,000 or more or even like full tuition, full rides, they have deadlines around like September to early January. Now this isn't to say that there aren't other scholarships like big ones that are offered in other months outside of that, but this tends to be the primary focus. So make sure to really hone into that. Another very common trait about these students who are winning millions and millions of dollars in scholarships is that they are super, super organized. See, it can be so so overwhelming to have all of these scholarships organized so what they do is that they first research in bulk scholarships that they are eligible for and then they put that all on a master spreadsheet or a master Google document, whatever they prefer to use. And then from there, they phase it out over time to apply. As far as other things that they have organized, that can be official paperwork, such as their test scores from the ACT, the SAT, both their official and unofficial transcript from their school, as well as letters of recommendation that have already been written by like their professors or teachers or coaches, whoever it may be, saved to their digital folder online so that they can access that and then put that into their application when needed instead of constantly having to bother them saying hey can you write another letter because they will from my personal experience they will get annoyed if you constantly reach out to them for the same exact letter now do keep in mind that there are certain scholarships or even like college admissions of where the letters have to be blind meaning that those writing your letters they have to physically go into that online portal themselves and then submit their letter rather than you submitting it for them now one of the most common traits that these people have who win over a million dollars in scholarships is that they are applying for not just a handful of schools but a lot of different schools and and then from there, once they apply to these schools and perhaps get accepted into them, they are basically adding up the accumulated amount of scholarship money that they got between all of these institutions. Now you may be wondering, isn't that like very expensive to be applying for 10 schools or even 50 schools? Well, you can actually get the admissions fee waivered. And if you're using a platform like the Common App or the Black Common App, if you're trying to go to an HBCU, then this is made super, super easy to do. Now, typically when someone applies to all of these different schools, there's going to be a small handful of them that are going to offer them full rides. 
However, let's say that there is this school that is offering them a full ride, but it's not their top choice. But then there's a school that they really want to go to, but they're only offering like covering half of their overall college expense. In that case, what they would do is to then appeal for financial aid and compare the financial aid packages. So essentially they would tell this school, hey, this school over here was offering to cover everything for my four years of college, but you guys are only offering half. If you can match their offer, then I will go to your school instead. So with that being said, make sure to consider negotiating financial aid. I actually have some free templates that you can use linked down in my bio description. And you will also find out down there several scholarships that I give out that do not require GPA, test scores, none of that. And one of the main reasons why I made sure that all the scholarships I will ever give out do not require GPA or test scores is for one, our academic system doesn't necessarily truly quantify someone's intelligence. And two, so many people, their grades or academic performance has been significantly impacted by the pandemic and for that reason it wouldn't make sense for me to have a scholarship that includes that now moving on with this video another common trait that these students have who win millions and millions of dollars in scholarships is that they have leadership qualities but not just any leadership qualities so typically from what I've seen is that they started or initiated something so for example they might have created a club at their school or a local chapter for an already pre-existing organization or even like a nonprofit charity business small business whatever it may be. So within all these establishments that they are creating, not only do they hold a leadership role, but also they are creating a sense of community and giving back to their community. Another common trait that these students have is that they are consistent with the results that they have as far as their academic performance or as far as how they have been able to make an impact on others. So if you can showcase in your college admissions or scholarship application how you have made an impact in the past, how you are currently still doing so, and how you plan on doing so even in the future, especially as it relates to that particular college, like saying, oh, I want to start a chapter here at the university, then that's going to really help your application to stand out more. Now, as far as the type of scholarships that these students were applying to, they more than likely did not keep their eggs all in one basket. So for example, they were applying for scholarships specific to their college, especially like for incoming freshmen. And then they were also applying for external scholarships, not just the nationally competitive scholarships, but also the state level ones, the local ones, the ones specific to their demographic, the ones specific to what they're studying, and so forth. On that note, if you are trying to apply to a scholarship that is specific to a certain study concentration, you are going to be significantly more likely to win if you already have some level of experience and like a work portfolio to show for that. So for example, let's say that you're trying to do engineering, right? And you went to a high school that didn't have any engineering classes, but you're wanting to go into college to finally start learning engineering. Well, if you're applying for a scholarship specific for people interested in engineering, those competing against you who already have experience with engineering whether that's from a class a club a boot camp whatever it may be they're going to be significantly more likely to win so if you don't already have that experience from like a traditional classroom try to get that externally so that you can compete against those students another common trait that these students have is that they have a super super strong essay that they more than likely are just copying and pasting from previous applications. Now, if you didn't already know, when it comes to scholarships, college admissions, you can actually reuse your essay for future applications. It's not like school of where if you submit the same essay for a different class, a different assignment, you'll be marked for self-plagiarism. For scholarships, for college admissions, as long as you answer the prompt properly, and a lot of times these prompts are nearly identical, so you might as well you know, repurpose. With that being said, if you want to learn how to create a really strong college admissions or scholarship essay, I have a lot of videos here on my YouTube channel that have helped so many students get into college and get scholarships and graduate debt free. So I highly, highly recommend that you learn from that and to really increase your chances of not only getting into the college that you want, but also winning scholarships. I created a book and an online course titled The Scholarship Algorithm. So many students have been able to win from these resources, such as a student winning a hundred thousand dollar scholarship from Dr. Pepper, another student winning $85,000 in scholarships, one of which was a $40,000 scholarship from Amazon, and so many other students. So if you are interested, that will be linked in my bio description. And perhaps if you are a younger student watching this video and you don't have money to spend on it for yourself, then make sure to share this video with your guardian, your parent, so that they can gift it to you as like a birthday gift, Christmas gift. See, I literally had a student who bought the scholarship algorithm as a Christmas gift to herself, and then like less than half a year later, she got 
got this huge scholarship from her school. And as far as my online course specifically, if you want a huge discount on it, then feel free to use this promo code here. Finally, one of the most common traits that these students have when it comes to winning all the scholarship money is that they are seeking professional help, such as from scholarship experts like me or from their teachers or counselors, whoever it may be. So if you are wanting personalized one-on-one -on -one attention to drastically increase your chances of winning scholarships, feel free to use any of my services. But I highly recommend before you even use any of that, consider getting the book or online course. And then if you have questions outside of what is covered in there, then we can book a call. Then I can edit your essay or review your application, whatever it may be. Anywho, that's all that I have for today's video. I hope that this was helpful and informative. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any other questions for me and also like and subscribe. Follow me on my socials. I am very, very active on TikTok and Instagram and I give a whole bunch of other content and advice on there outside of what is even covered in my YouTube channel. That's it for today's video. Bye!